Right, hello there. Uh, I wanted to make a point about <clears throat> the genre that will never be alternate future. Uh, you see, alternate history is a genre that I really love. Uh, check it out. Other stuff on the interwebs. Um, Poets books. But alternate future is quite simply the genre that will never be. And... <clears throat> And I and I and I thought of my argument to prove this point when I started, or when I when I started reading it ages ago, and I've only read the first three books of the series. But the series Tomorrow When the War Began, yes, a uh, very good series. And come to think of it now, it's probably an alternate history because some of the technology, um, the language. Kind of general attitude to society and life, maybe about all five, five, seven years ago, I would say. But you could also think of it as an alternate future, because when it was released, when it was originally released, it would have been an alternate future. That's another point, actually. As time progresses, alternate futures become alternate histories. I didn't think of that. Oh, that's cool. But, um,. <clears throat> But, yeah, so, uh, in this book, and I also wanted to make a point about the cover. You see, this is the book after the films were released, based off the book. Do I have a... Hmm. And to the dynamic of the video. Um, this is the cover of the book after the TV series was released, uh, the, based off the books. This is the cover of the book before the uh, TV series were released. And have a vote. There we go. Which one do you think looks better? I definitely think this one looks far better. Yeah. I mean, this one's kind of boring. It's like, oh, we've got a TV series now. We have to put that on the book. Oh, but no, you don't really, to be completely honest with you. It's just the main, the main character who, um, what's the name again? What is her name? That's right, Ellie. Her name's Ellie. Ellie. Yes. But yeah, book cover, book cover this one. But the point I'm trying to make here is that... Right, plot of the book. I'm getting so sidetracked in this video. Um, so the plot, and this will explain the point I'm trying to make. The plot, I'm going to use this book. The plot of Tomorrow of the When the War Begins is when a foreign nation invades Australia and there's a bunch of uh, teenagers that uh, go out camping on the weekend in this place called Hell, which is like a big cavernous area. And um, because they go out camping on the weekend and, they, and um, they get invaded on the weekend, all the cities and everything get completely invaded except they're kind of alive and they, and they form a little rebel group and blow up posh houses with toasters and stuff. It's really actually quite good. But, um, but, um, but the main point is that a foreign nation invades Australia, and it is an Asian nation, and if you were to ask me, if there was an Asian nation to invade Australia at this current moment in time, it would either be Indonesia or China. Uh, <clears throat> and now those, the possibility of that happening is one to a gazillion, because of China invades Australia. Oh, well, it's like, yo, China, what are you doing, man? So, you know, that, that's never going to happen. But if there was a nation to invade it, it would be Indonesia or China. Um, so I'm going to use China as an example, or as the uh, agnostic, as the protagonist, antagonists. That's what I was looking for. I'm going to use the Chinese as the antagonists in this book. So the Chinese invade Australia, and at that point in time, the future of Australia takes a different path from uh, from what we from what it's gonna be but that's the thing we don't know what it's gonna be we don't know what the future is of Australia is gonna be China could invade Australia tiny tiny chance tiny chance China tiny tiny chance tiny chance of it happening but technically we can't assume that and then call it an alternate future genre because we don't know what the future is going to be. We can't, we can't 
change the future because we don't know what it's going to be. You can change history because history has already happened. Alternate history, that's a thing. Because you see, all right, uh, uh, France lost the um, Mexican France war, you know? That France invaded Mexico once. Not even lying. It involved pastries. Um, not even lying about that as well. But let's just say that uh, France won that war and created a colony state in Mexico. That would be an alternate history. We know that France invaded Mexico and we know that they were beaten out. We know that happened. We can alternate that timeline. What we don't know is that in 50 years France will invade Mexico. We don't know that's going to happen. You could make a book about it, and but you couldn't call it alternate history. Because you can't alternate something that hasn't already happened. 